YouTubers, I am George, the 80s Transformer fan. I'm back again with my Combiner Wars Stunticon set. And I'm going to merge these guys uh, right now. I already had these, everybody in my chosen limb mode. I've chosen, chosen Wild Rider and Dead End because they're the exact same mode, exact same height. I've noticed some of the guys, the ports aren't the same height when they're in um, different, the, the different legs that the ports some of the guys are slightly taller and I think it works out the best this way and the way I have it laid out the configuration and just to show you what I mean about the ports like I have both these guys in their leg mode and his port is slightly taller than his you can see that not a big difference but there is a slight difference and to get them as balanced as I can I've chosen to do it this way and you can do it from you can have this be the front or this be the front I've chosen basically the car side to be the front of the legs I have drag strip as the right arm and break down as the left arm and motor master can't go anywhere but be the centerpiece I have them all opened up and ready I got it pegged in as best as I can um, combiners are usually a little bit flimsy but here we go Get Wild Rider. Tap him in. Get dead in. Tap that guy in. And so far so good. Pan up just a bit. Get drag strip. And arm mode. So I get him to tab in as easily. Okay, he slid right in, no problem. And break down. All right, no problems there. I'm gonna slide in just fine. The only place I'm anticipating a problem really is this piece right here, the chest piece. I can never get it to quite tab in when I reviewed this piece and when I reviewed Motormaster, I think it was, in previous reviews. And I kind of showed how it fit in there. I could never, ever get it to stay. I don't see anything changing as I try it now. But I'm going to put it in there. Because it's supposed to go that way. I see it's just sitting in there. And this is the complete combined form of Minosaur. All right. Um, Minosaur in this mode, he has uh, all of one weapon. It's, it's You can make it a gun or you're just going to use it as the sword. Here's with the sword. All right, in combined form, um, feels a little shaky to me, a little flimsy. Not as solid as I had hoped. I wanted, I wanted the feel like he was a just one solid action figure, but it's not the case. He's, I guess, a typical combiner. But um, let's do articulation. Take a look at his head. His head looks down. Let me zoom in on that for you. He can look down that much all these guys all the robots look down to the chest when they look down he can look up that far because of the transformation of the swivel he can look up as high as you want to i guess you can get him in a good flying pose there goes the chest piece like he's coming at you chest piece tried to hang in there for a second but it's like the the little ports here just aren't long enough to hold the chest piece so to keep it from falling off, we're just going to do away with it. We're going to close it and pretend like this is the little card thing on the chest. Um, his arm, it will 360. Worried about that little ratchet over time, but it seems pretty solid. Okay, let me back that up. The arm will 360. Let me get a better look. Both arms 360. He has the swivel at the waist. And I believe the waist will 360. Or well, once you move the little waist flap up, it will 360. Put that back. Um, again, move this up. You can move the leg up this far. It's a little bit too heavy to hold, if you can see that. Let me readjust the camera yet again. It's a big toy trying to get it all in. All right, if you move the leg, if you lift the leg up because of the weight, it's not really holding. Again, let me try to get it up, and it kind of falls back down. It could have been a little bit tighter 
ratchet on there. <clears throat> Alright, continuing to run down this guy's articulation, he has for the first time probably ever in a combiner, transformer combiner, he has a uh, elbow swivel and an elbow bend. He can come up this far with it. And the only thing, um, a lot of things are loose because some areas are over tight and then some areas aren't tight enough. Like the tabs that hold the arms in, I think could be tighter. This arm over here, uh, this is unplayed with and it could be just my, I know it varies. Uh, it's a little loose, but there's a screw in there. Probably could tighten that up. That arm's kind of loose, but it has the same articulation. They can come in, he can touch hands. And his arms are very, very long. But I got a fix for this. I got what I call the G1 transformation, and I'll get to that. But his arms come all the way down to his knees, which are like down kind of far. Like this little part here is very elongated. I don't know if uh, I can adjust the waist piece to try to cover for that, but it is very elongated and very plain in these areas. Um, yeah, back, back to leg articulation. He bends at the knee. Or what would be the knee? So you, you actually could do a lot with them, but it, it just doesn't hold, and it, it even swivels at the knee, which is kind of cool. But it just doesn't have that hold that I wish it would. And I, I know there's a lot of games you can play with these toys over transformers over the years. I've learned to deal with loose transformers, and there are little things you can do to tighten up the joints. You know. From floor shine or uh, crazy glue, but uh, a lot of a lot of the places it's a little looser, well a lot more loose than than I kind of want it to be. But I guess one positive thing, he's not falling over all the time, so that's good. But this little thing, blackjack won't stay in for shit. I wish he would, cause um I don't love it, but I kind of like it to make it look different because I'm gonna get the. The Warriors United, the Tomy version, Takar, and he really he doesn't come with this, so this is another way to kind of make him stand out and distinguish him from that version. I mean, it'll sit in there if you don't mess with it. And I bought this guy too to sort of have that extra limb again to make it a different version, but it like it sits higher. Let me let me get Wild Rider out of here. Slash break neck. And I'm, I'm gonna slide this guy in and show you that uh like he's just he's just a tad bit taller. Let me just get the pig to line up for a second. And there goes blackjack. Alright. Turn this foot around. Yeah, oh, when you're handling it, you see that it's just coming all apart. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I got him in there, and now he's uh leaning this way a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it's enough. I see it. I see it clearly. But uh, he, he, he's leaning that way. Maybe um, drag strip, or I think breakdown fits better down here with that guy. So I'm going to try to switch that around and see how that looks. Okay, I got off-road in here. In this configuration um, with breakdown next to him, that's a lot more balanced. It's kind of seemed like these two were meant to go down here at the same time. I guess because this guy wasn't even included. But drag strip, he, he's, he's too tall to match up with anybody. If you put drag strip as a leg, he's going to lean. I, mean, I guess I could show you, but I guess uh, one more... Leg transformation wouldn't kill me, but this uh, if you make drag strip a leg, it, he's gonna be too tall for any other combinations to kind of work with him. So he works best as a leg. And what I don't like for some reason with these two as feet, if you put his arms forward, this arm and this arm, this is what you're gonna get. Okay, <laughs> normally he falls down, but he didn't fall down. Usually when you put his arms forward, like. These these two guys don't support them as well. You know, all it took for me is just to touch it with um, off road and breakdown as the legs. He's kind of not. He's kind of 
prone to falling over with his arms off. But I guess you can get it and make it stay. So it's not as bad as I thought if you position it just right. Okay, I got this guy in what I like to call G1 combined form where the arms are basically just the cars. I think he holds together a lot better. The arms aren't as elongated. He doesn't have gorilla arm syndrome as bad. You lose about an inch and you also lose the elbow swivel and the elbow bend. But I think it's a lot better, a lot sturdier and it looks more G1, a lot cleaner in this particular uh, form. It's, it's, you get a slight rub when you're moving the arms forward and back because um, it doesn't have the clearance in this form, but he holds together good. Doesn't fall over. You gotta kinda hold the shoulder so they don't separate when you swivel these. But he looks a lot more G1 and a lot more uh, badass. I don't know. And to make this guy even more G1, you can switch the um, the legs around where the car part is in the back. Even more so G1. And he's really, really like as G1 accurate as he can get in this mode with the parts and pieces that they give you without adding third party to it. So this is my unofficial. I've never seen anyone else do it. Somebody probably watching like, I've seen that. But uh, I've never seen anyone do it like quite like this. This is my G1 Minasaur. And um, dropping a couple guys for a size comparison. Here is Megatron. Megatron is huge in this line. Minasaur is no slouch. But Megatron is a big boy. And here is Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. Which I wish Megatron scaled better with this guy. But there you go. Um, this has been George, the 80s Transformer fan. Thanks for watching another, my, another one of my toy reviews. I got a lot more. I have most of these damn combiner guys I'm trying to get out. I got Devastator. I got Superion here just off camera. United Wars. Got to unbox that guy, review that. I got Devastator. I got the Protector Bots. Uh, I got the American Aerial Bots release. I got a lot of guys I need to get to. So please stay tuned to my channel. And I'll see you soon.